Stay at the Melia, come to a villa, you'll love it. And after a lovely dip in the pool this morning, we'll just pan round. You'll see that they've brought breakfast down for us so we can have a nice little meal outside just to come round after the massages yesterday. All this at no additional cost. And there's the breakfast all laid out. Got a view over the level swimming pool. All right, let's get down and enjoy this. All right, so we're going to do a quick tour of the, the villa and the the gardens now. Uh, before we do, I'll just show you this. You've got your own private road down to be either dropped off or picked up by a, by a taxi if you want. Uh, that's the way up to the level pool and the main buildings. But let's just, let's just go through this now and have a look. First thing that you see as you go through, you're actually stepping over a fish pool. See it down there. Over here, all the fish come running to be fed. See them all coming down there now. Anyway, it's made up of two buildings and we'll get onto those in a minute. But before we do, let's just step up here. This is where your breakfast is delivered if you've decided to have it in the morning instead of going down to the, the main restaurant. In fact, there's two restaurants, but one just for, for level guests. Uh, so anyway, the breakfast is delivered and set out on there. And you basically get whatever you want, just ask for it, tell them the time that you want it to turn up, and, uh, and it does do. We've had it a few times and it's delicious. Around here, before we go into the main building, you've got another pool there. See the fish swimming over to be fed? They will leave you some fish food and you can have fun feeding them. Uh, so, two buildings. This is the main one with a, a king size bed in it. And this one has got two singles in it so we'll go in that one in a minute but first of all into the main one every night during turn down there's a large incense coil put into that which is wonderful they come around and switch all the lights on do the usual turn down service so this is the main room you've got a large bed tv all the usual stuff it's a little bit dark uh, but it's also a cozy You've got an excess of plug sockets, so you don't need to worry about plugging in laptops, phones, etc., etc. And then if we move through here, you've got your wardrobes, his and her wardrobe, there and there. And if we come over to this, huge fridge in there. And in this one, you've got a, a wine fridge as well. A couple of hats that you're supplied with. Shower room. Bathroom over on that side, his and her sinks, and then a wonderful, a truly wonderful bath. Uh, plenty large enough for two people, headset at that end, headset at that end, really, really good bath in there. And then you come out at the back if you wish, you've got an external shower there that you can use, and another door that leads you back through into the main gardens and pool area. So as you can see there, four beds. And at the back, you've got a bale that you can use. There's the pool, we'll come to that in a moment. Let's just go into the, into the twin villa. So this is the twin villa here. Dining space if you want it. Two twin beds. Uh, something that I didn't show you in the other one, I'll show you here. Every night you get incense sticks and they change on a daily basis. So bergamot, rose, lavender, sandalwood, etc., etc., which is a, a nice touch. And then into the bathroom. Now I think the bath in here is even bigger than the one in our villa. It's a it's huge sink, toilet. Nice, very nice. Now, we've been living in this two weeks so far, so it's definitely lived in. Um, the service that you get in the, in the villas, it, it's just unbelievable. We have seven or eight people turn up in the morning to do the service. It, it's just stunning. The pool is fantastic. It's not cold by any means. Uh, it's, it's not heated, but unlike a lot of pools that, that I go into, it's not cold at all. Um, yeah, it's wonderful. And come down, you can see the size of the garden. 
lots more around this side as well. And up here there's a three foot lizard that lives behind the fence over there. You see him sometimes, you wake up in the morning and come outside, he's usually, he's usually around the pool there. And then last but not least, this is the, the gate that takes you out into the main uh, beach area for level. That's that. So that's the private beach for, for level people. And that's it. And if we just step down here, literally outside of the villa is the private level pool. And this is probably one of the nicest pools that I've swam in. It's almost like getting into a bath. It's warm. I don't know if it's heated, but it's certainly warmer than the, uh, than the hotel pools. Just being set up. As you can see, these are never filled. You've got towels, drinks are available all day and food. Absolutely lovely. From over there, you can see that you've got access to the beach and a particular nice little touch. Now they haven't brought the books out yet, but there's normally books lined up along here and you've got a selection of glasses with different prescriptions, which I find absolutely fantastic. I've had an eye operation, so I don't need them, but uh, there's nothing worse than coming out trying to read and you haven't got glasses, so that's great. 6.30 in the morning, and I'm just about to go down for an early morning coffee. But before I do that, let's just walk to the back door of the garden and see what's outside of here. And we've got a short walk down to the beach. It's literally a short walk. Now there's flowers placed in here every morning. Let's come down to the bottom. So this is the private level beach that we're just going to have a look at now. And that's the level bar. And obviously the level area is, uh, you, you pay for an upgrade, it's a bit like the executive club lounges in, in hotels. So yeah, private beach, cabanas. Very nice. Tides out this morning. But that's literally outside of the door. And next door is the, uh, the normal beach. If you've never been to Nusa Dua before, it's where the majority of the five-star beach hotels are. And there's a path that runs down all of them. Uh, you can walk down, make use of the facilities, the beach bars, etc., etc. Very nice. Uh, next door also, that way, you've got something called the Barley Collection, which is a bit like a, a shopping village. Now, unfortunately, it's been really impacted by coronavirus and probably 80 to 85% of the shops are closed, but they'll start to reopen. Um, and it's excellent, you can go there for meals during the day or at night, lots of restaurants usually. So yeah, definitely something to think about when you're coming away. You're not stuck in the hotel or having to get taxis everywhere. There's a little plaque of the garden villas just showing what's available for anybody that's walking past. And let's go back in and down for a coffee. So we've got the three residential blocks there and the main building with all the restaurants at the back and then pool, bar, everything over there, lots of entertainment at night time. And this is the entrance to two villas. Uh, so you've got Air Villa, which is a Sri Rama villa, and another villa. And this is just some of the gardens. Down there's the pool and the sea. Got a couple of restaurants there. So that's the level restaurant. Uh, this is the patio restaurant there. And that's the main body of the hotel at the back. And those are the accommodation blocks. There's three of them with uh, various rooms in. This review has been all about the level villa, or in particular, uh, number one villa. Um, would I recommend it? Yes, definitely. We've stayed in a few villas in different hotels. I think the last one that we stayed in was a, a banyan tree in, um, in Phuket. Really, really good. I think you've just got to be careful. The older the hotel, obviously, the more dated the villa is going to be. Uh, they are all regularly brought up to, to a new standard, but it can take 10 years for some of these places to get around to being done up because obviously they don't want to lose them off the market. 
The service is exceptional. Uh, you get access to all the level. So you get the private level pool, you get the private level beach, you get the level lounge. Uh, if you're used to intercontinental hotels or um, Shangri-Las, pretty much all, all the top hotels have executive, um, executive lounges. This, that's what the level lounge is. It's an executive lounge. I wouldn't quite put it on the same level as Intercontinentals or Shangri-Las, but you do get your, your two hours worth of free cocktails at night, your free drinks throughout the day. You just get that added service. Uh, and it just makes you feel special. So the villa, as I've said, we've already been here two weeks. We're here for an additional week and um, we're having a great time. We tend not to use the rest of the hotel like we have done in the past because why would you want to leave this? The pool is fantastic. You've got all the space and the privacy that you could possibly want. As I said, the review's been about the villa. Um, it's not been about the, the Melia in Bali. If I was saying anything about the Melia, well, in Nusa Dua, this is where all your five-star hotels are along this beach here down on the, uh, down on the front. Uh, it's a pretty much a gated community. There's three gates. They're the only way that you can get in and um, the security on them to check everybody that's coming in. So it's safe. The Melia offers good entertainment, huge gardens, fantastic pool. A lot of these other places don't do that. We've stayed at the Nusa Dua Speech and, uh, Beach and Spa Resort. Now that's owned by the... Uh, it's owned by, I can't remember who it's owned by now, uh, but it's very Muslim. They don't have bacon on the menu. At least this place has got bacon on the menu. So that's a big thumbs up. Very, very quiet as well down at that one. And we went to the Club Med uh, last night for uh, some evening entertainment. Very, very expensive. The entertainment was good. We had um, a Freddie Mercury lookalike and everybody singing. Uh, but I wouldn't stay at the Club Med neither, based on what I've seen of that compared to the, the Melia. So, yeah, it's a big recommendation. We've been to say, quite a few of the hotels, stayed at different ones. We were up in the north of the island in Lavina. That's where uh, the bike accident was, where we were run off the road by a car that then drove off. Not good. I'll tell you more about that in another video. But, yeah, stay at the Melia. Come to a villa. You'll love it.